time. Got the claw anchor, enough chain based on the size of the boat. We're going to, uh, the method we love to use out here on the, uh, on the west coast is that we, um, we love to throw the shackle on the, on the, on the toe of the, um, the claw, uh, anchor. We love to, uh, utilize a couple of zap straps on the, on the heel. We're going to tie them up here, explain why in a sec. Get a couple of these guys on here. This allows for when we're pulling the anchor, a lot easier way to pull. So when we pull up, this will break free. We can move forward and we'll and we'll dislodge a lot easier than we uh, than if we had to just um, throw the shackle on the on the heel side. All right, it's time to drop the anchor. So a couple of things to remember: always check which which way we're drifting. We want to um, we want to drop the anchor. Uh, on the on the opposite side of where we drift. So when we, we we're actually going to drift slightly away from the anchor. We don't um, purpose of that is so we don't back up over the ankle and uh, over the anchor and get ourselves a little uh, in a in a in a bit of a situation where um, you don't really want to be in. So off we go. We're going to drop the anchor here. Make sure that we've got uh, all our feet out of the way, everything out of the way, and off we go here. So we've uh, we've come to a halt here. The the anchors hit the bottom. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to engage the the uh, the anchor by uh, putting the boat in reverse and, uh, and and locking her into place. Put the ball over. Put that on immediately. Okay, now we've just dropped our anchor. Uh, we like to show you the way you do things and the way you don't do things. What you saw there is we threw the anchor over the side and let it free drop. And uh, we did that for a reason, and that is to show you that that is not the way to do it. What you do is you lower the anchor over and you, you either have a pair of gloves on or, or a rag or something like that, and you, you, you control the drop of your anchor. Now the reason for that is you've got to remember we've got wind and we've got current out here. So when that anchor is going down, you have to be watching where that anchor is going. So you're letting the anchor go down, and as you're letting it go down, you're also looking over the side to see what the angle of your line is. If it is going underneath the boat or toward the engines, you have to have someone take that boat and put it in reverse to back away from where that line is dropping. You do not want the line to be heading toward there. So that's why you control it with your hand, and uh, and one thing you control with the hand, and, and the ring you hold with the other hand, okay? Because you don't want that ring going over the side, which uh, which is what, what could happen with throwing the anchor over and letting it go because you got that ring. If that ring goes over the side, you're going to have to be pulling up that whole anchor. So, we got to our spot, which is look was located on our GPS. I put the boat in neutral. I marked where we were sitting and then I checked our drift and I checked which direction the boat was drifting in and in this particular case it was drifting to the east as well as um, I checked the speed of the drift of the boat which will tell me the speed of the current and it was 0.8 miles per hour so not much current nice drop as soon as we hit the bottom put the boat in neutral hooked onto our hook the anchor line onto our side rope here and uh, kept watching until we knew that the boat was anchored and the way we could tell now is I can look ahead of me here and I can see the ball and uh, I know that we're just on a perfect anchor here. Now the other thing too to always watch, if you come into an area, look at, if you see other boats that are anchored, they will give you an indication 
of what the current is doing and where your boat and your ball is going to end up. So now we're anchored, we're ready to go help. Fishing.